It's terrible. When a narcissist loses, you hear what they can do. In what manner will they respond? How will they cope with your permanent departure? Will they attempt to reconcile, or will they simply let you go? Do they perceive your significance in any aspect? Will they experience sadness at your absence? In this video, I discuss the likely actions of a narcissist once they have abandoned the hope of reuniting with you. Feel free to watch the video. Greetings. I hope everything is going well. Today, let's delve into what unfolds when a narcissist acknowledges your departure, how they promise you will return, and your means of revealing their deceitful and controlling nature. Do you grasp what I'm conveying? Hence, in this video, I aim to explore potential reactions of a narcissist upon realizing that you've chosen to discontinue tolerating their manipulative behavior. You've decided to conclude this. How will they respond once they truly accept that you will never cross paths again? Various events are likely to unfold. Initially, it's crucial to recognize that narcissists typically react with intense anger when they realize you won't be returning. Contrary to common belief, narcissists strongly dislike it when their source of supply diminishes. They yearn for a multitude of close relationships, including family and friends, who consistently provide the love and care they crave. Losing someone impervious to their manipulation is particularly distressing. You, being a source of care, love and tolerance, were likely the primary provider of what they sought. Even if you may not fully comprehend the significance of your departure, the narcissist will vehemently resent it. There are two primary ways they may respond to your departure. Initially, they might attempt to regain your attention. It's essential to note that their aim may not necessarily be romantic reconciliation, Instead, they desire a return to the familiar routine of meeting their needs and fulfilling their emotional desires. It's crucial to avoid misunderstandings at all costs. The narcissist won't appreciate your kindness or gratitude for past assistance. They desire your continued compliance with their demands, just as you did before realizing their manipulative nature. They might convey that they have undergone a transformation and now need you more than ever or express profound longing due to your prolonged absence. Be cautious not to believe these assertions. They are merely telling you what you want to hear, attempting to deceive you into meeting their demands. Their goal is to lure you back into the same dynamics using mere lip service. To make informed decisions moving forward, it's imperative to comprehend their motivations. The truth is, the narcissist will not change. Their mental framework is ingrained in their approach to such situations. They resist altering their mindset because updating their strategy wouldn't align with achieving their desired outcomes. This initial action is a common tactic employed by narcissists. However, some narcissists may opt to bypass this step and proceed directly to the subsequent phase. In this alternate realm, their objective is to tarnish your reputation by spreading falsehoods and attacking your credibility. The aim is to inflict harm because you saw through their deceit causing a profound wound of rejection and abandonment. It is the pain you've inflicted upon them that truly fuels their actions, not a sense of shame. They will go to great lengths to harm you physically, damage your reputation, and foster negative perceptions from others. Another deceptive maneuver employed to manipulate perceptions is executed by narcissists. They harbor a predetermined notion of who you should be, yet you deviate from that ideal. The narcissist is relentless in ensuring that no blame for the breakup is directed at them, shifting it entirely onto you. They assert that you are the problem, potentially even insinuating that you suffer from a mental illness. When things go awry, they consistently attribute blame to you, skillfully projecting their faults onto you. Their strategy is to influence those close to them to believe that the breakup is a result of a trait they attribute to you. Faced with an inability to confront the truth, they desperately cling to a fabricated sense of self-worth. Due to their aversion to facing this reality, they likely strive to shift the blame onto you and may attempt to persuade you to change something about yourself. It is crucial for us to distance ourselves from this manipulation. And what if the narcissist discovers your disinterest and the termination of the relationship? So what? There is no need to be concerned about such matters. Disassociate from the narcissist's thought processes entirely. Your well-being and happiness take precedence in your life, impacting everyone else. Regardless of what they say or do, 
or how they present their version of events to others, you are aware in your heart that their narrative is fabricated. It is not your responsibility if others choose to believe their lies. There's no need to invest time and energy attempting to convince them of your truth. People either accept you as you are or they don't, and that is perfectly okay. No proof is required. If others choose to believe the narcissist's falsehoods, let them be. Redirect your focus and continue moving forward. Why invest time deciphering the narcissist's desires and motivations? How long did it take to arrive at these conclusions and comprehend their thought processes? You are well aware that they are a narcissist and understanding why they act the way they do. For those seeking further insights, consider watching this video discussing the psychology behind narcissism and how understanding it can contribute to an improved life. It's imperative to recognize that change is improbable. No amount of explanation or pleading will alter their behavior as long as their current actions yield the desired results. Once the narcissist is out of the picture, resume living your life. Avoid regressing. Instead, keep progressing. This is the key to your recovery and personal growth. For individuals in need of emotional support during challenging times, I'm available for private consultation. Details can be found in the description box. Additionally, I host a journal club and mentorship program every Monday, serving as valuable supplements to therapy. A free Discord server is also available for individuals seeking to connect with like-minded peers who may have shared experiences. If you wish to join, find the link in the description box. Thank you for watching. I look forward to your return for more videos in the future.